Hello and welcome back to another video. So I'm so excited about making this tutorial videos. Our channel is growing and thank you all for who subscribed and thank you for supporting this channel. And yeah, I'm trying to make more high quality videos. So I started by buying a microphone, which I hope the sound is more clear in this video. So this kind of little updates will increase the quality of these tutorials. So yeah, thank you all. And let's get back to our project. Today, I will talk about blending two images using OpenCV. Here we go. So on the left hand side, we are seeing the article that I wrote. And on the right side, we are seeing the Jupyter notebook. So let's move on. I will add the link to the article below in the descriptions of this video. So if you want to check it out, feel free to check it out. So for this project, you need to install two packages. One of them is NumPy, the other one is OpenCV. So after the installation is completed, we will move to the next step where we will import the OpenCV that we just installed. We don't need to import the NumPy, it's gonna work in the back end. So it's just like a prerequisite to be able to use the OpenCV package. Anyways, let's keep going. So I will just import shift enter, which will run this line. Perfect. All right. So since we are blending two images, we will need two images. <laughs> Isn't that clear? I guess so. Anyway, so here are the two images that I will use in this example. One of them is really nice background image. And here is my blog's brand name. So we will combine these two and let's see how it goes. So after you decide on your images, I want you to put them in a folder. Let me show you how my folder looks like. So here is the folder. Here's my Jupyter notebook file. And these uh, the images are inside this images folder. So you can rename them. And now we will import them to our program. So first, let's copy this. Let's paste it. Perfect. You can also rename the variables as you wish. So for example, this is a background image. This is the foreground image and make sure your file names are matching. For example, uh, we can rename this one to foreground. This one's background. Let's run this block. Perfect. You can check always how it looks. These are the array values of the image. Perfect. Let's move ahead to the next step where we will resize the images. So if you try to blend these two images, it's not going to work because of different sizes. So 
here, I will go ahead and resize them. So as you can see, their sizes are as following. And what I will do is I will just copy this, paste. And in this block, we are defining what size we want them to be. And we are just resizing both of them. First the background and then the foreground. Perfect. You can always check by shape. As you can see, it's 800 to 1200. Let's check the foreground. So it's the same. So they're matching. Perfect. And the cool step is over here. Step number three, blending the images. So what does happen when we blend two images? Here is the mathematical function and here is the Python version. So let's copy that, let's paste it and let's see how it goes. So let me sh tell you what's happening over here. We are using the add weighted function which is under the OpenCV package that we installed. So this function picks up the two images and we give values for each image. This value is the weight, the, the weight that we want to give for that image. So here I gave 0 0.5 for the background and 0 0.8 for the foreground. So I want the foreground to be more in front of the image, more sharp, we can say. And these values are between zero to one, so you, you can play with them. I will show you a couple examples when I'm done. So let's run this line. Perfect. So they are blended. What is next? Exporting our results, the blended image. It's very easy. We are using the I am right function by OpenCV. So I'm going to call this blended one and let's run it. Perfect. Let's go back to the folder and here we go. This is the final image we get after the running this line. As you can see, the text is more bright and the background is a little darker and it looks pretty nice. Let me show you another values, how we can play with it. So let's say we want to change the values and let's see how it goes. And here I'm gonna change the background to 0 0.7 and the foreground, let's make it 0 0.3. So this way the background will be more brighter and more clear and the foreground is gonna be a little less. Let's run this and let's save it as second folder here we go so this was the first one this is the second one as you can see the background it has more weight than the foreground so yeah that's all for this video i hope you enjoyed it and this is this was a simple project feel free to check my other articles and other videos and yeah that's it for this week i hope to see you in the next week's video until then happy programming see you